battles are fought in the mind. Now, we've all been mad from time to time, but Senua here takes it to a whole new level. A descent into madness and a sacrifice on a quest that is not really explained at the start of this epic journey from Ninja Theory. They have now dived into their own development and self-publishing route, and they have created and crafted a game here that is mesmerizingly beautiful and utilizes the Unreal Engine 4 on a level I don't think I've seen thus far on any machine. Now, the version I'm testing here for this first contact analysis is both the PS4 and the PS4 Pro. This is a story narrative driven game so just remember that it is cinematic in all the benefits that, that delivers in both positive and negative for certain people but it is a very commanding title that really draws you into the character and this is delivered through various reasons one of them being the motion capture in this title. They've pioneered their own motion capture with real time capture and emulation for the rendering in the game and it looks absolutely incredible incredible this is really a low budget or at least an indie development title but that means little when you play the title with it looking like it should have been delivered from a triple a studio the likes of which you can pick from both third and first party and that's probably the highest praise i can heap on the title and the team from the presentation sound design acting animation and visual quality the texture assets here and the actual quality of the main characters themselves is really impeccable and so is the art design but i'll cover all that in much more detail in my actual attention to detail analysis now my first contact videos here are always just a quick look at the title to give you the basic facts so you can decide whether you're interested or not and then check back with my full analysis so looking here at the ps4 and the ps4 pro there are a few splits between them the biggest one is the frame rate, but I'll come on to that in a moment. The other one is the resolution. Unreal Engine 4 has managed to develop a name for itself where it actually has quite a high overhead compared to other engines and consoles seem to be suffering ever so slightly. This comes at the expense usually of resolution. We've seen quite a few sub-1080 resolutions here on both the Xbox One and the PS4, Snakes Pass, Tekken 7 and various other titles that have come in under a native 1080p. But Ninja Theory obviously don't subscribe to that rule book, and instead they deliver a fully native 1920 by 1080p here on the PS4. Now I have done a few counts here, and they all come out at 1080p. But you've always got to have that caveat in there that any game now, as I covered a few years ago, are going to use dynamic resolutions quite regularly. So there is still a chance that it uses dynamic resolution scaling on the PS4. It certainly uses that on the PS4 Pro. I'll cover that in a moment. So you've got a standard 1920 by 1080p resolution backed up with a temporal AA solution and possibly another post-process solution as well to clean up the image as the game is running. But it does a great job at giving you a crisp, sharp image that looks absolutely incredible, even on a 4K screen at 1080p on the PS4 Pro. It looks beautiful indeed due to the art design and the asset quality and the lighting in the title. The temporal AA means that you hardly get any shimmer at all, and it gives you a nice, clean image at the expense of sharpness or clarity on some of the texture qualities and objects in the game. Visual quality is enhanced further by screen space effects such as reflections and ambient occlusion, which although has a lower quality dithered look to it, it certainly adds a lot of depth and weight to rocks, ridges, grass areas, and also self-shadowing on the characters. The skin in particular and the PBR materials in the game really stand out and it helps to have all this self-shadowing even around the eyes as you zoom in on the face of Sensua which looks hauntingly realistic. Now on top of this, you've also got screen space reflections that are used abundantly across the title. And this again, adds more visual quality and punch to the scene, allowing you to see reflections in real time dynamic objects. And aside some minor depth issues here with the buffer, it is a very commendable achievement here, delivering this at the resolution they have with all these effects on and the performance level when other titles are cutting these things back and still dropping the resolution. Volumetric lighting is also ever present here and used vividly across all scenes, streaming through trees, billowing up from the sea waters and further sections that are much more dark and ambient. It really adds that sense of immersion. Yes, it might be at a quarter resolution, but it certainly is an impressive visual quality here and a package that you would have expected of a much bigger budget and team than what's been delivered here. PS4 hardware is well utilised and the PS4 Pro owners are not left wanting either. This has been used to refine and improve 
the game with two options open to the players. The best option I've got banged on about for so long. Yes, you can choose performance or resolution, i.e. visual quality. Now, there may be some other features like shadow quality and volumetrics, which look slightly different when you're flicking between the two. But it does downsample when you're running in the resolution mode, but it does use a dynamic solution here. So it scales when you're in the resolution mode, at least, which is where you turn off the 60 FPS mode from 1920 by 1080 up to 2560 by 1440. But there's another change here, and that is the Temporal AA is much better coverage and used to a far higher quality. That can mean that when the resolution does dip down to 1080, it can actually end up looking softer and blurrier than what you see on the base PS4 because. That appears to be running a lower level of TAA. This is obviously at the expense of subpixel shimmer and noise, comes in at slightly sharper texture quality. You can see a comparison between the two. You can see it looks slightly blurrier on the PS4 Pro compared to the PS4 in the 60 FPS mode, even though I believe that's also running a dynamic resolution scaling above 1080. That's the lowest base, but when they're both at 1080, then it looks slightly blurrier at the expense of texture quality. You do get less shimmer and noise on the edges. Now, aside this, the difference also comes from performance even though the ps4 targets 30 fps i believe it actually is running an unlocked frame rate here and it's self-managing it down to 34 fps because that's what it can hit most of the time but we do see some highs of 50 in the real-time cutscenes in the game which obviously give it a lighter load on the cpu and therefore let the gpu go as high as it can but generally it hovers around the 34 fps so you do get a few spikes at 16 milliseconds but it feels pretty smooth and responsive as you play through the title the PS4 Pro, on the other hand, in 60 FPS mode, does hit out a pretty much locked 60. Again, you do get the same stutters and hiccups of streaming. No higher than 66 milliseconds on the Pro and around 83 milliseconds at its worst point on the base PS4. But it can also dip ever so slightly in some of the fight scenes and the heavier sections of battles. But it generally feels very smooth and responsive and is not what you'd class as a unlocked title it's definitely a 60 fps title as good if not better than other titles that claim that such as some of the call of duty titles we've seen on this gen and last gen machines so in terms of visual quality performance asset textures and acting this is really sky high and for 25 pounds or around 30 dollars you are getting a triple a quality title yes it might only be around eight hours in delivery but i'm certainly going to enjoy my time finishing this title off and seeing just where sensuous tale of nordic adventure and based on real legend and how she descends into madness on her quest to avenge her dead lover There's no doubt about it. The source of the darkness. Anyway, as always, if you guys and girls enjoyed this, then you can subscribe and like below, and that'll really help me out. You can also share my content on any forum you feel appropriate, and that always helps. You can read much more on my website for this article and other things that I also have available. Leave all your thoughts and comments below. You can also follow me on Twitter and talk to me directly. And just a word to the wise, never put your head in a bag, particularly when it's been detached from your body. I'll catch you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.